I will say that had I not come to these clinics and had I not uh, participated in this sport, I would probably not be alive today. Started in the junior team in Connecticut and uh, shot with them for a couple years and that, that's pretty much started it all. It was almost like drinking knowledge from a fire hose. It was, it was a lot of information, but it really taught me a lot. It got me shooting at a much higher level than I ever thought possible. I said, you know what? I want to become like these guys. And I, I started reading up on them and reading about the trophies that they were winning and all the, all the matches they were winning. And I always wanted to live up to that. I realized that they were different. Um, and it was, it was shown by the rifle teams. You can't just jump into it and jump into a patrol and say, hey, I'm going to go patrol. You have to come up with some kind of a game plan. This is where you learn that. This is where you learn that you have to be watching three, four, five indicators at once. You have to be watching the smokestack right over there at the nuclear power plant. You have to be watching the clouds, wind flags. You have to be watching Mirage, other competitor shot spotters. To me, that level of uh, almost situational awareness in a sense, it applies directly to overseas because I was doing the same thing overseas in Afghanistan. I was watching for little snail trails in the dirt. I was watching for upturned earth. I was watching for people acting a little bit, a little bit off key from what they normally were, their normal baseline. All these indicators would point to something, it would tell a story the same way all these would tell a story about what a bullet's about to do.